Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I've got another little tutorial for you. This one's smaller. This is on a 9 by 12 primed canvas. I just took an old canvas and covered it with black paint, let it dry, and we're going to begin step by step working on this pretty landscape with full of waterfalls and trees and moss and all that kind of stuff that I love to paint. So let's go over the colors quickly. Yellow, white, phthalo green, cobalt blue, sap green, and a light ultramarine blue. Um, we might use some burnt sienna, we'll see, and even a little bit of yellow ochre, but I'll add all the colors and brushes we're using, as well as links to other tutorials on my Patreon page down below in the description. So we're gonna begin right away with the light blue, light ultramarine blue. And I'm just gonna come from the top and just start, start right away, no hesitation, guys some waterfalls, different layers. Line your brush up like this. Large flat brush, number 11, forgot to mention that, sorry. Bunch of, a whole bunch of waterfalls just like that. And then we'll bring out a line right there. We're going to have more. So I'm going to take my brush, line it up, pull and drop, pull and drop, all different, all different levels. You just have a whole bunch of them. Maybe we'll have some rocks in here. So I'm just going to use the same brush and just add some little round lumps like that. Then I'm going to come from down here on the corner, sort of on an angle and scoop over. And then I'm going to take my cobalt blue and I'm going to start going up and down with it in here. This will be another level of waterfalls. I'm going to add a little bit of this beautiful blue in here. Pretty shadow. And we can add some up here as well. Just let those colors mix. Turning my brush sideways, I'm going to take a little bit of the both blues and I'm going to just pull for some more little waterfalls like that. And then white right in this area. Have a layer like this up here, so you'll do waterfalls and then a line. A line like that with white. A little one right there. And then right at the base here. Little zigzags and wiggles with your brush. You can turn it like upright like this with a handle pointing up. However you need to, to get in here. Take a bit of our blue with a white. And a little bit more. A light little line like that. Take a little bit of white right up here. Skinny little lines where all these waterfalls are just, just falling into one another. All those cascading pretty waterfalls. Now I'm going to take, this is the fun part for me because this is like my favorite color, that phthalo green with white. You don't even have to wash out the bit of blue that you have on your brush. 
And I'm going to begin right down here, go right next to that white, and start pulling across. I'm going to take some phthalo green and dark blue, and I'm going to come from this side now. You should still have a little bit of white in your brush so it won't look really, really black or anything. I get right down to the bottom of the canvas. It can be a little bit tricky with my easel that I've got right now. And take a little bit more of my phthalo green. Make a few areas down here that are going to be slightly darker. And maybe, maybe a little indication of that color right up here. And it's going to look kind of misty in here. So I'm just lightly softening this, make it look hazy back there. A little bit in here, just dry brushing. It's at that stage where the paint is starting to dry, but it's not 100% dry, so you can still manipulate it a little bit, I like to say. I think what would look really pretty is if we took a little bit of this yellow with the white, a little bit of yellow and white like that on the tip of your brush, and let's pull in a little bit of a little bit of sunlight hitting those balls at the top. Now it'll probably dry a little bit darker, so that means it's going to look a little bit more um, blue or green when it dries. Let's add a little bit here too, where it's going to be really bright. Oh, and we also need to add the rest of our waterfalls here. Pull and drop. You can make it look like they're moving by kind of shaking as you as you pull. I take some more of my light ultramarine blue with white. And go over some of these. up a little bit of white. Okay, I want to take some of my yellow, burnt sienna, a little bit of white, blend the two together, and let's add, make it look like there's some rocks here under the water, and maybe there's some up here. I'll tell you what, we'll make those a little bit darker. So let's take some black along with that burnt sienna, and can add some up in here. Just little, they're just little lumps. Just kind of doing this with my brush. Add a little highlight on there. Let's pick up a little bit of yellow with white and that color left in our brush. And let's pull, smooth off. here too. Take more of that yellow burnt sienna. Scumble in here. 
Let's take a little bit more black, sap green. Start adding a little bit of that in there. We'll start building up our, our trees and our foliage. Scumble some of that green, a little bit of that green right over there. And we'll come up here. Okay guys, it's time to start adding some of our trees. So I'm going to take my half inch mop brush. I'm going to take, whoops, don't want that in there. Sap green. We're just going to start tapping in. This will help set all of those waterfalls back there. Tap and scumble with your brush. We you just want this color right now for this base. You can add some down there too. I'm just going to switch over to another mop brush. Actually, I think I want to use... I'm going to try this one. What's this one called? Oval mop brush it's called. This is a number one. And I'm going to take some yellow. A little bit of white, a little bit of that sap green. Picked up a little bit of that blue by accident, but that's okay. All right, so with the paint right on the tip like this, I'm gonna start lightly. Coming in with this foliage. Well, they kind of look like ferns too. It makes a neat sort of design. And we can soften, barely touching the canvas, just little circles right in here, make that look far away. bit lighter, less color as we get in here, gets more in the shadow, a little bit darker gradually, that's right in here too. I want to take a little bit of white with my yellow now and make this even brighter. This area right here I want to be really bright. I want to just feel that sun. way up there, way, 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 way up there. There's a bunch of trees and bushes. Now I just got a bit of water on my brush. It still has those greens in there and I just picked up a tiny bit of a phthalo green. And I'm going to just sweep for a bit of color right there, a little pool of water right there, just like that. Maybe I'll just incorporate a little bit of that pretty color in here. So I could just take a little bit more of that phthalo, but it still has some yellow in it, so it's not gonna look too, too blue. Like, we, like the water does. Okay, so I really like that. I'm going to 
switch over to another brush. You can use any flat brush or any any filbert brush. This is just one that I have that's clean right now, so I just grabbed it. I'm going to loosen some of that green I just made there with a bit of white and some water on my brush. Really loosen that off. Just do a light little brushing over that so that it looks like that rock is underwater. Pick up some of that yellow. Little bits of rocks in here. Take some cobalt blue, some white, and maybe just add a bit of waterfall in there. I like that. Get those colors again, reload my brush, and we'll come right in here. down at the bottom, just sort of flicking off of our brushes like that. A little bit of a highlight, just a little bit right in there. Sneak in those waterfalls wherever you want. I'm just going to take a bit of white and yellow again. Carefully come in here, kind of straighten this out back there. Now, I don't want all that white there, so I'm going to try and take that off. So there's two ways of doing that. I could scumble, which makes it look nice and soft, and I can also go back and take some blue. pretty. And I'm going to take some of my dark, dark cobalt blue. Add some color down here by these rocks. Pull up and flick right there. And pull in here. A little bit of burnt sienna, yellow and white again. A little bit more to the rocks here. Need a bit more white in there. There's some light coming in. Let's do that. Let's add a little bit of white to that yellow color. Get a bit of water on our brush. Maybe just have a little bit of light in there.
a little bit more down here in these waterfalls. Let's take some white on the end of our flat brush. Slide so you get a nice ridge of it on the tip of your brush like that. And Create all these little lines. Make it look like the waterfalls going in different, a few little different directions, giving it some a little bit more movement. I'm gonna come in here and take some white and blue and add a little bit of that right in here. Pull and drop. Sure, painting waterfalls. I just need to come around in this rock area here and add a little bit of that white foamy stuff in between kind of around we have a little bit in there Make them look wiggly and pick up some of that white paint. Just on the tip of your brush like this. And make them look wiggly and ruffly. Create that fun little bit of movement. Put a bit more light right up there. Pick up some of that yellow. Bring that back in there. Okay. That light's hitting right down in here. Maybe it's hitting some leaves in there so we can add a little bit right in there. And I think I want to add a little bit more of this thalo green. right in here. Lightly dust over here. Just brush over. Make those rocks look like they're underwater. And I have one more thing that I want to do with this. I want to add some deep red, some cadmium red flowers. And I'm going to take some cadmium red. First I'm going to use, I'm going to make a muted tone of it, a darker shade by mixing that phthalo green. And where should we have our flowers? Let's start putting some right in here. Now it looks kind of brown right now, doesn't it? But we'll make it stand out more. Make it stand out more now, that's our base color. So let's take a scoop of our red. Add our red flowers right in there. Okay, 
you know what would look nice too is mixing some of that cobalt blue take a bit of white with that a bit more red a little bit more blue sort of a purpley color A bit more white, a red. A little, a little highlights. And it's mostly in shadow in there, so I'm not going to add a whole lot. I feel like I want to add just a little bit more of those sun rays in there. So, do I have any yellow? That's take a little bit of yellow, a little bit of red. Really loosen that paint up. And brush over a bit like that. Okay, I'm going to call this one all done, guys. I had so much fun painting this today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give this video a thumbs up. If you liked it, leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye for now.